Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all? Like, good evening. Out there, out there in TV world, as they say. Lou, fi fill in. Lou's Lou. Luke, fill in while I try and find the events. Oh, one of the comments. Now. You're Luther. Good, happy Tuesday, everybody. And here we are with our latest edition of Mod Shoes Live Mini. I think I'm just here to make up the numbers this evening as we're discussing a subject that I'm not particularly clued up about. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, what do you mean you're not clued up about it? <laughs> You, you live with me. You, you you must see me going on and on and on and on I'm and on. I'm not going to lie. I switch off sometimes. <laughs> I don't. Bl I don't blame you. Let me just find the so line. We're going to be talking about collars, specifically on button-down shirts. I I, yes. I gather. Right, we're there. Sorry, it's all right. I just need to get to my, to my uh, my sheet and get everything running. So you'll have to bear with me while I zoom around. I'm not terribly good at following scripts. But I've had to write myself a script for the first time in, in ages, so uh, uh, here we go. Um, yeah. Before um, we do that, what are you drinking? Oh, there? what am I drinking? What have you just poured me? You've just poured me an old crafty hen. Shall we go to the close-up so everybody can have a look at that? It's an old crafty hen. I brought that in the co-op about four hours ago. What are you drinking? Well, but there, that's a bit a bit strong for me, that Is one. It? I'm Is not it? Is it a bit? It's quite thick, look at six, that. Six and a half percent, that one, and I've got a... Is it? And I've got to drive back, so... <laughs> so Do you think this is going to be syrupy? Probably, yeah. Here we go, then. Oh, blimey, that's thick. <laughs> you could put glasses in there and they'd stand up. It's all right, though. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. Yeah. So I'm assuming among many of our regular watchers, there's plenty of you that uh, wear the button-down shirt. So, uh, as usual, feel free to comment or just comment for your shout-outs. Well, it's, it's interesting that we're going to talk about button downs in a minute because one of the people who's already watching is Tim, yeah. my friend Tim. Um, I will just let's digress and then we'll definitely stay on track, I promise. Tim is one of the first guys I ever met back in the 80s who was kind of into the mod thing but liked ska music more than he was like a jam fan. And I forgot to mention that when we were talking about Madness the other day, so let's close up again, if we can, onto that. And I finally own Bluebeat version of Madness by Prince Buster and um, it's taken me years and um, Oxford Paul had a spare copy we swapped some records at the weekend at a socially distanced distance and so I finally own it on 45 so I'm a very very happy chappy so uh, um, yeah so, so I'm pleased about that so hi Tim shout outs obviously yeah anything that you disagree with which we babble on about this evening so we're going to talk about these shirts here and some other bits and pieces anything you agree disagree just you know shout out on here and i'll try and get it included in the show as we go along so i want to talk about button down colors why because we seem to talk about music a lot and we i do. thought we are meant to be a fashion led thing and so i thought we'd probably try and talk about that and try and make it amusing at the same time okay and i'll wait for you to take the Michael, I'll, at I'll some, just, some I'll, point. I'll, I'll just interject every every once in a while. You you can. But until then, you can tell me what why. I know. Yes. Right. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, bit of bit of history, just a boy. I think you might have heard this before, but let's start with just the normal shirt. A normal shirt doesn't have a button down collar. Close up on that one, Rambo. You'll see just another. And the story goes is that when you played polo in this. Um, Somebody from Brooks Brothers or somebody there noticed that the shirt, while they were playing, would flap about. Mm -hmm. And so what they did is, Brooks Brothers, and this is a Brooks Brothers. Look at that, look. Can you see inside? Oh, yeah. That's a proper Brooks Brothers one. So there's, this is a Brooks Brothers button down. Now, I'm not going to try and argue that this is an original or back from the back in the day or anything like that. I got this second hand at a shop. Mm -hmm. But it says Brooks Brothers in it, and I'm going with it. Now... This is what you call a classic American design. So what you'll notice, Luke, is that the Brooks Brothers were the first to put the buttons down. Okay. And what they did, because it's American, and because in America, they did have what's called quite a gap here. So when you wear it, it, it wears quite open, but nevertheless, the, these don't flap about over here. Yeah. Okay, because in America, they like to have this low because it's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you sort of, yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? So, that's a Brooks Brothers. Now, what have I got next on my sheet? Because I must go in order. Arguably, after that, it went to... Did you show the picture of the Brooks Brothers? No, I'll do it 
Yep. So on the screen as you're looking now, Luke, which you're not seeing, <laughs> is this picture. And the picture is quite important to see because it shows Gregory Peck wearing a, um, a Brooks Brothers shirt. So look, there they are. Yeah. And to you, they I, I almost say they're very office-like, but it's a classic look, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, now a lot of the jazzers picked up on it because they'd wear it with a woolen tie. It was very neat, very 50s, very cool. And I think the reason I like a button-down is because you can wear it without a tie. Oh yeah, definitely. So do you... I mean, I mean, you know, for me personally, it's very, very rare that I wear a shirt that doesn't have a button-down collar. I've got a couple that if I'm, I'm totally casual day, I might throw over the top of a T-shirt, but it's very rare. Yeah. But like, and one of my real pet hates is people with a button-down shirt yes. and they leave the buttons undone. That should have been my pet hate, because we're having a pet hates one, aren't we? We're going to do pet hates and... I've got loads of them. And yeah. I've just started, started that. I, I really, really do hate that when you see people with button-down shirt and left the buttons undone. Oh, Oddly God. enough, when I when I was 16, I had a part-time job at Tesco's while I was at sixth form, and the Tesco uniform shirts that we had to wear had button-downs, uh, button-down collars. Yeah. And so many people would leave them undone and actually take the buttons off. Really? Yeah, because they didn't they didn't grasp the concept of a button-down collar. <laughs> I've, I've, I've a good story about button-down. Um, Maggie was telling me, she was trying to get, a, Maggie works as a friend of ours, and she designs shirts and clothes, and she was trying to t show some, uh, ask, I'm not going to get the place right, but somewhere in the Far East, to make a button-down shirt. Mm -hmm. And then she had to send all the shirts back. They corrected them, sent them all back again. But they actually hadn't hurt, sewn or cut a thing. They'd literally stuck mm. the button on <laughs> with glue. Nice. <laughs> that's going to last all of two minutes. Yeah, so. that's, that's just not working at all, is it? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so I, I like that because you don't wear it. And the other thing I like about it is, if I'm, I don't know if you can see me on that close up or whatever, is I like the fact that it's tidy. Yeah, I, I'm totally in agreement with that, that it, the, the collar always sits nice. Yeah. Because you, you end up like with a normal shirt one of them sticking up at some point or yes uh, and it's just it's just annoying yeah 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 i totally agree now the next thing have you seen the film american graffiti no rambo could you put up american graffiti slide now i think where i probably remember seeing um for the first time was on the 50s style American graf uh, graffiti type button downs yeah and i know you can't see it big on this screen but the, the viewers at home can is what's interesting about that is that it was a very sort of like early 60s thing and I think this is where it enters the, the mod market because it's like an I what they call an ivy thing it's a college boy look mm -hmm. do, do, you, do you understand what I mean yep you wouldn't have got away you would have had to worn a shirt I think wearing a t-shirt was mm. do, do you understand what I'm trying to, trying to get at so um, one of the things I like about their shirts in American graffiti I don't know if it's still on but it's it's also warmer there Hmm. So they can wear a short sleeve shirt right in the middle of the night. Do, do you know what I mean? You've been to America. Do you do, do you remember? Was it all t-shirts or? Um, well, I mean, the the first time I went was to to Florida, and that was very hot. So yeah. like you know, it, it was you know most people were in like, vests and all sorts. But also, oh really? But also, Flor Florida's very touristy. So yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of English people visiting there. When I went, and I went to Nashville the second time. And that, that, I mean, obviously that's a bit more cowboy type territory. How was it? it? So, like, <laughs> I bet there weren't many <laughs> button downs there. Then. Like, you know, I went to the, the Grand Old Opry and all that kind of stuff, like, you know, for a tour. So obviously with there, it's more, you know, a lot of these kind of designs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know. Not with this kind of collar, I No. No, 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 no. I, I, I can imagine. Now, this next picture I'm going to show is a picture of the band called The Creation. And I think this is where it kind of enters the mod thing. Is because the creation wear it. I think Rambo, have you got that up, Rambo? Yep. Thank you. Now, the creation for a 60s mod band, and it's very Carnaby Street. Can you see the size of that collar? Yeah. That's huge, isn't it? So, when, when was this? That would have been 1966, that picture. And the guy uh, there is Eddie F uh, Phillips. He's the guy who used the bow with the guitar the first one before Jimmy Page, as it happens. And, um, but those shirts look are so mm. Carnaby Street. Can you see they've got the epaulets yeah. and. and they're so stylized. They're so sixties. So where did the, where did this crossover, well not crossover, but where where did it 
where did it go from being practical solution for people playing polo to all of a sudden everybody wanting to wear them? Where? Well, there's some argument. It, well, was you? Where was I talking about Ben Sherman? I was talking about Ben Sherman with, mm. with Simon. Ben Sherman um, is an English gentleman, and he mm. went to live in America, mm. and he brought the designs back with him when he got the sack from Brook Brothers. I think it was Brook Brothers, and basically he stole all the templates. Mm. And he brought them back. And when he first made Ben Sherman's, he um, he used to get the exact same material yeah. that the company in America. And then they got so popular with the mods, um, because a button-down, if you wanted a button-down, you would have had to go to a certain shop in London, and it would have been ex an American import, so it would have been really expensive. Mm. Because in England still at the time, people had block... Do you know about paper collars? Does that mean anything to you? So in, in, my granddad even had them. So like, you know like a granddad shirt doesn't have a collar? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you would literally put a collar made of paper and that would go over the top, but it would look white, so it would look like a, a shirt. Do you, do, you, oh, do you understand what I'm saying? Strange. DIY shirt. Well, yeah, but it was to do with the fact that gentlemen, because they didn't wash their clothes very often, because they didn't have a washing machine, the simplest way to, to keep that clean was to just change that top bit. Does that make sense? And then the rest would be hidden behind your tie and your, your jacket. Are right, you seeing, what you're seeing where I'm going now? Yeah, I'd say we take those things for granted these well, days. Well, we do, don't we? I'd, we, want, we a, I'd want replaceable armpit patches. <laughs> if, I if I wasn't going to be able to wash my shirt very often. <laughs> well, it's, it's true. I mean, people used to wash once a week then, Luke. Mm. I mean, something, the bright colours like this, certainly bright colours like this, were just like unheard of. Of course. It's it still much more plain. I mean, in that picture you just showed me, the creation, they're all plain, aren't they? They're not checked. Yes. And, and, and apparently, if you'd worn this in London... You know, you used to get chased up the road because they used to think you were gay. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? To wear a colour like that was quite a, a big thing. But in 1960, you wouldn't have worn it. But by the end of the 60s, the skinheads obviously started wearing that and everybody wore it. Does, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um, anyway, I'm, I'm rabbiting on. Yeah. <laughs> have right. I bored you too much yet? Or? No, we're all right. But um, you were going to do any other business in the middle, take a short commercial break there. Short commercial you? break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and do some shout outs and bits and pieces. Um, just some uh, stuff we do need to address. If Rambo goes to the close-up, we've got some earrings coming through for Valentine's. Mm. So they're quite nice. Stay on the close-up because I've got several to show. Um, they're all heart-shaped. And um, Ada Binks has done them, especially for us. So they're going to be available on the, in the next couple of weeks. So the, the rest, they had to be in an obligatory red, white and blue one. But I actually think that looks all right. You know what I mean? Sometimes the red, white and blue target thing looks a bit... But I thought that looked pretty good, and she's done. Yeah, so she's got. Hold on, there's some stuff Those ones black and white ones are very good. Yeah, they're ace, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. They're fab. Look at that. Very 60s style, the black and white. Yeah. Um, but she's also done them in the studs as well. So let me just quickly get them through so people can have a quick look. So they're in the stud as well. So if people want that, we've got that. Um, some housekeeping I need to just do. Um, guys, uh, you may have seen me moan about Brexit recently. Um, Rambo, He's got would a you sticker you, to prove it? Yeah. Oh God, am I? We, uh, <laughs> our poor EU customers, we've now got a thing. We found out that if you're returning something from the EU, you have to say it's a returning item. Um, so if you've got friends who are into this, or anybody who's watching the program, when if you was to, you can't do this. We can do this because we've sent to the person in the first place, yep. and when they send it back, they can put returning item on it. Okay. Yeah, and because it's coming to mod shoes, that's kind of cool. So I know we've got a few f foreign customers. So or you're imploring few. people to do that should they order anything. Correct. Yeah, yeah, it's all on the website. So we we think we're halfway to a solution. Uh, so that's any other business. Should we do some shout outs? Yeah, yeah. See yeah. if anybody is as passionate about collars as. Well, as we've you. got thirty-one people watching. Thirty-eight people watching. So uh, uh, <laughs> um, Tim Wilson says top class. Uh, um, hold on, what we got here? Um, just join chat. What's wrong with Andy's collar, Pete? What's wrong with my collar? Cheeky sod. What's wrong? Uh, um, where's the granddad shirt? Where, where did granddad shirt come from? I don't know. Do we? I don't know. Does anybody know where sh granddad shirt the name come from? No is idea. It, is it just as well, obvious? It's just, a, just a term coined because it was something that everyone's granddad wore, I suppose. Like yeah, before, but, before, like you know, years ago, you know, like the Pete cap. Yeah. Like and I, I would because my granddad always wore one of those. So as probably a lot of people's granddads did when they went out yeah. somewhere. And like so, 
to me, that became known as like a granddad hat. So that's yeah. why I've, I personally have never bought into the whole yeah. thing of like young people start wearing. So yeah. Wearing them. Yeah, I, I, I suspect uh, granddad shirts perhaps, perhaps quite literally is because they granddad shirts were shirts generally without a collar and because they probably would have been found in granddad's wardrobe for the reasons I was talking about earlier with, because they didn't have any collars. Mm. So they've just been a, a loose shirt. Um, is it a French thing not to wear collars? I always think it was like a French peasant thing not to have collars. Well, I know it's like in, late, in later times, though, like Paul Weller often wears them. Yes. Like yeah. now, with a, with a blazer. Yeah, yeah. I'm never, into, I'm never 100% convinced on that look, I'm not going to lie. Um, well, that's a bit of a, a Miami Vice thing in the, in the 80s, wasn't it? Because he used to wear the one-button jacket with a, a T-shirt. Mm. He'd wear a very kind of boxed jacket and stuff like that. That's a very mm. 80s thing. I don't know what Weller's doing there. Does anybody know where well, I, I don't know if they're like the full-on shirt with no collar, but, you know, like it's like a T-shirt and it buttons up yeah. about halfway, a bit longer than that, and, but no collar. Now, I've seen lots of pictures of him wearing those, like, you know, gigging. Maybe because he's more comfortable to gig in. Do you think it's just because he wants to go on stage with a jacket on, take the jacket off, but still be cool? Mm, possibly. You know, I can't imagine. Where, does Weller wear polos? I no. Can't, I, I, can't mean, wear, I mean, this is what, uh, oh, it's probably another debate for another day. Oh yeah. Things we Weller talk, doesn't doesn't wear. We always talk about um, talk about t-shirts and t-shirts not being a mod thing, but. There's certainly plenty of photo evidence of Paul Weller wearing T-shirts. Well, some people might argue he's not a mod at all, but we're not getting into that now. Who cares? All oh, right, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're. Anyway, what else? Um, Tim Wilson, good evening. Um, again, Jackie Jack. Derek, Derek's watching. Derek Edwards. Derek Edwards was one of our first customers ever. Sean Hartness, I'd say. Um, another pair of Oh, Jackie Jack. Another pair of shoes arrived today. Get them in all colours. One happy lady. Husband not so happy. Uh, was like more shoes. You can buy as many shoes as you like, Jackie. We, we, we'll happily feed that. Uh, um, yeah. What's the word? Feed that habit. Yes, feed that habit. <laughs> um, but um, anyway, should we carry on with this? Yeah, go for it. Right. So um, where do we get to? So I think I think gathering here for what what you're going to talk about next is uh, not you know. Per Slating another brand, but just what you don't like about no, no, no. no. It, it, this might be where you're wrong, young man. Oh, <laughs> okay. Right, we're going to start here. This is a Pendleton. Now, a Pendleton might not mean anything to most people, but a Pendleton is an American one, and it's the one the Beach Boys used to wear. Right. On, on you know those LPs I've got, which are literally over there. Hold on, you. I'll go and get one. Stay there. Hey, it's a much softer material. It is, yes. And also a material, well, 100% cotton, but also a material that's always a nightmare to iron. Yeah. Well, that's the, I like that shot. I really do like that. Look, it's that it's kind. It's nice, but... It's that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's that soft. Now, they wear it like as a, an overshirt, which is why, in, in ivy terms and stuff like that, they like a bigger gap here, because you wear a white T-shirt underneath. Probably a vest, I'm going to say, actually, rather than yeah. a T-shirt. Because they're surfing and stuff, aren't they? Yes. But yeah, yeah. But I was just saying, I've had a few shirts, cotton shirts like that, and always terrible to iron. Do, do you find I love this shirt? Mm. I think I just think it's really nice. But oh, they're nice once you've got them ironed. Yes, yeah. They feel nice on, but the problem with these collars, which is what this doesn't do, is this does that. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, cause hold because they're, they're too floppy. Yeah. So as much as I love it, it's it's something I don't. If I was wearing that, you know, and this is another, uh, sorry, yeah. yet another debate again. <laughs> hey. I'd do all the buttons up. Oh, would you? Yeah. Now he's, oh, you see, some then people hate that. Yeah, but, they, but you wouldn't have the problem of it flopping about, would you? Oh, uh, of course. Is that why you would do that, to stop that flopping about? Yeah. Because it never sits right otherwise. Yeah, I'll give you that. I wouldn't do it with one of those, but with one of these I would. Right, got it, yep, yep, fair point. Now, next two are very, uh, very similar. This is typical Fred Perry, again, small yeah. now th that's what they call on trend i.e it's what sells on the high street yeah yeah i don't particularly hate this is a nice shirt i've had this shirt a long while i think debbie brought me it for for christmas it's starting to go a bit there look yeah. but i love that shirt it's so warm it's lovely uh um, very thick yeah it is uh um but the, again i don't Debbie might think I'm being rude, and I'm trying not desperately not to be. This is why I just made the comment. Yeah, it's something about the collar. I just want that down there. Do, the do you not, 
Yeah, yeah. Enough, and likewise, hold on. So it's kind of in the eighties again with this pretty green one. Look, in the eighties, this was a very eighties sort of cut. Mm -hmm. And I get, and again, it's it's a, it's nice. I love this shirt. Sarah brought me this shirt. Even my big fat neck can do that up, mm. and it looks nice. Well, that, really... But again, like you say about on trend, I suppose that's what they're designed for because lots of people. Younger people do do all the buttons up. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. And I think, and with the pretty green thing, again, it was brought me as a present. Uh, Scottish Sarah brought me that. Scottish. Scottish Sarah. The, the funny thing about Scottish Sarah, she was probably watching, bless her. Is but she's not even Scottish. But she's Scottish, <laughs> but her surname's English. So, <laughs> which always makes me chuckle a bit. Now, the next one, I don't think you've seen me wear, but this one you're definitely going to take the Michael out of. Look at that collar. It's not the collar that was. Uh, Is it the epaulet? Uh, yeah, I don't like. It. You don't like the epaulet, but it's look look at that. That's proper Harry Hill, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and I I had that made. <laughs> There's no wonder you wouldn't wear a tie with that because it just looked no. well odd, wouldn't it? No, but this was me desperately trying to do the creation thing. I don't know. Let me just go to close up so people can actually see the collar on that. It's ridiculous. Look, it's it's so. It's not even. It's like a whole hand you can get in there. Do you know what I mean? And it's got the epilats. This was me trying to recreate that that creation picture like I just showed you. Uh, um, I didn't even notice they were on there on that picture. Yeah, I know. <laughs> didn't you notice? Didn't you see the different colour? Because they're grey and it's blue. So I think on the... Uh, oh, okay. Right. Now, this is where I am um, going to moan. This is uh, me talking about Brutus. And I imagine there's quite a few people watching this know this shirt. Well, has got one. There's a few people... You may notice what you're thinking. No, I was just yeah, moving yeah. that because it looked funny. Uh, um, the thing that was I didn't like about these when they came out is uh, Brutus relented on what they call the true fit. So I'm not the skinniest guy. They made, you know, they pulled around here like mad. The other thing is when you do the, the things up, the buttons are all wrong. So you see where this button placement is? This button placement's really important. And it was like kind of over here. Mm hmm. So I I don't know if so this does yeah. say trim fit in it by the way so that yeah, does I know imply that. that they do a regular fit as well. Well, they didn't. All oh, right. But yeah, you see that little hole there. Yeah. That's where that was originally. Okay. So when but it, you haven't had to move that one. Yeah, I did. Oh, you moved both. Hold, I've oh, moved, moved both. So yeah. if I move, let me show on the camera. I do think it's important because it's like this is a company that's got a massive heritage, and I'm not trying to be rude to them, but look, I had to move from that tiny little hole there to there. Now, some I suppose might... what, you're, what you're not really getting across here is why. Right, the point is, is because if I undo this, look, yeah. and und if I can. Huh. Why is... Because that's, can you see that that's sitting there lovely? Let me get the close-up. So you see that's sitting there lovely, look, and it's nice and thing. This is sitting over there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, can you see that that lovely... Hold on, on that camera. No, but what I mean is, is why why should anybody looking to buy a new shirt be wary of that? Because when I look at a collar, and some of my friends, and some yeah. of the people watching, I want that collar to sit there, I want it to sit up, and I want this bit to roll like that. Can you see it's rolling? Mm -hmm. On that Brutus there... Well, it'd be flat, wouldn't it? It was doing, it was doing that. Yeah. Which yeah. is rubbish. Do, 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 can you, I don't know if Rambo's picking it up in the camera, but that's that gets one of now that should be interesting. I don't know if anybody else is as sad as me, but that's <laughs> let's have a look. Let's just see if anybody else is agreeing with me. Uh, um, uh, hold on a minute. Um, hold on. Uh, oh, oh, they're just talking to each other now. Oh, that's all right. Well, yeah. let, we'll we'll quickly move on because we've. You've still got a few things to talk about, and there's yep. been very little light relief in yeah. this subject. <laughs> right. So other things I think, well, I love the, the button, um, button down, is the simple fact is that, if you could hold that for me, is that I reckon a button down looks really good under something. A jean jacket. Yeah, and it looks good. Under. But this is where where we're talking about my trip to Nashville. Is like not necessarily with the big collar or the buttons, but you'd see sh lots of shirts with that kind of pattern under denim jackets. Right, and that's where you get the crossover when people yes. say how much they don't like a sort of cowboy look. <laughs> well, this is this is the this is the thing. You know, Oxford Ball, bless him, and all his skinhead mates wear something like that, or some mob mates. I know that. Yeah. 
but because they wear... I, I mean, I, yeah. I'm totally in agreement that having the button-down shirt under that is ideal because you don't want it to start popping up over the top of the thing. Yes, and that's the difference. That's the difference between the Dukes of Hazard mm. and, and deliberately and, done it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and that rockabilly look and a, and a kind of skidhead mod look. Mm. And I think that looked like that. Let me just find a different shirt. This one here, I'm going to show it with that one in a minute just to prove a point. You know, if you put that under there, look, you wouldn't double dem in it, but if you wore another, if you wore some that as trousers, look, and a nice pair of loafers. That's a classic look, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I think that's really nice. Yeah. You know, that, that's go out all day, every day. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why I made you drag this in. <laughs> but again, if I'm honest, look, this is a different colour, look. But again, I reckon that goes under there nice. Yeah. Do, do you see yeah. sort what of I mean? It adds a nice bit of colour yeah. to an otherwise plain yeah. jacket. Do you see what I mean? I'm not saying you couldn't wear that with what you're wearing now. Well, but that would but, but go over any top, wouldn't it? Yeah, but you understand what I'm yeah. trying to say. Yeah, yeah no, it works. Yeah, it works. and that, I think that's why I've always liked a shirt that has a certain, certain amount of colour, mm -hmm. rather than just a plain one. Did, does that make oh, sense? So, well, play, a plain shirt for me is to go with a suit when you need to be formal. Yes, it is, look. Well, it's, uh, not that one. Let's have, yeah, well, yeah, let's have that one. But, I mean, again, with us, we've deliberately done some striped. So that's what I'm talking about there. So, you know, what do they go with? Getting striped shirts like this with a button down, it's been impossible for years. Mm. There's been a few companies doing, but they usually just did the tarns. Yeah. And that's why we've, we felt it was important to do a few of the... the, the Handy um, stripe, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that's nice, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, and I've got one of these on. So is it... Nice with the right bottoms, definitely, yeah. Yes, you've got to, you've got to match it up. Whereas I, like, like you've got to come on to about... A lot of them can go with... You can sort of dress them up or dress them down. Yes. I don't think you perhaps could with a striped one. But do what with it? Dress it down. No, I, I don't I, think that could be dressed down, whereas obviously any of this range, they could be worn nicely with jeans or trousers. Yeah. You know, and they go nicely. But that's, that's the point. So the one behind you and that one here, look, which I think are lovely, mm -hmm. I'd argue with, wear that with a pair, well, that, especially that one, wear that with a pair of trousers, that's a going out shirt. Mm. You can wear that to Northern Soul do. Mm. You dress it with a pair of jeans and a pair of sneakers. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, don't you, really. yeah. I don't mean, if it was really hot weather on holiday, I'd even wear it sort of untucked with a pair of shorts. It's... Yeah, but that's can yeah, yeah, if you're going to Greece on holiday yeah, yeah. like we you me and you do, that that's a nice evening wear rather than just another t shirt. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It just it's just I, I don't know. Keep but... you cooler as well on holiday wearing a short sleeve shirt that does a t shirt because t shirts yeah. cling. Yes, they do. They do. Right. I've shown some examples. I've done my, my whole thing. So you're, is there anything you spiel? I've done my spiel. Yes. Well, I, I wanted to do something that's a bit more kind of about something rather than just rabbiting on about like kind of music, which we always do, don't we? Bless us. Do you know what I mean? So uh, um, hopefully that's been interesting to a few people. I don't know if it has or not, but uh, um, we've still got we've still got, got quite a, bit a few of a brief, hi brief history behind it. Yeah. <laughs> and knowing full well that if you want the perfect collar, you can buy them from Sixty Six Clothing. Well done. Well done. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Uh, let's do some shout-outs. Mark Hutton, hello, mate. Pete Cole, as usual. Jim and McDeal, McDowell, even. I got that wrong. Where did I get McDeal from? It's not 6.5% beer, oh, Andrew. God, that's no, why. It's not bad, is it? Adrian Cope, um, what's, ah, what's your views on a popover shirt? Do you know what that is? No. Nope. That's right. what you're about to tell me. Yeah, a popover shirt is literally a shirt, and then that bit... Let's get it out. So it's where... That bit, it's it's only undoes to there, and then the, the rest of a sh is a shirt. So right. It's like, but it's got a button-down thing here. I, or, I mean, I'm I, not a massive fan. I member. personally would would. I mean, I'm no expert again, but I personally would fail to see the point. I don't know. Some of some of my groups have got one got thing. Like, I know this is going to sound really daft, but like, go on. When I when, when I'm going out, when I'm going out, like. I don't know what other people's rituals are, but like you get ready to go out and I do my hair or whatever. And then while I like it, I don't do my hair after I've got dressed. I'll do my hair yeah. when I've got out of the shower and I've still got my towel around me or whatever. So yeah. then you put a shirt on, don't have to go over your head. So, so you what have you done with this tonight then? Well, I did have to put this one over my yeah, head. Yeah. But like if I was going, going out and I tend to put a shirt on, and like, you know, if you've got one of them popover shirts, you've still got to stick it over your head, haven't you? Well, it, it's a fair point. It's why, I, it's why I don't like wearing jumpers when I go out, because if you do ha have to happen to get too hot, especially at a gig or something, yeah. you take it off over your head. It annoys me. Well, perhaps they only perhaps they suit a man with 
little or no. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who knows? How on much that hair one? has uh, the gentleman got? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 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 no, we're interested. I'm. I think, <laughs> like you, I'm probably. It's one of those things. I don't mind it on somebody else. I wouldn't wear it, but I don't mind it on somebody else. Does yeah. that? Do you understand? To honest. Same. Well, it's it's the same as anything along that you know, like a cagoule or whatever that only zips up halfway. Or you see yeah. people with those, those fleeces that only zip up halfway and stuff like. That. I just don't get it. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Why well, even put the why even put the zip there? Just don't have a zip and wear a jumper. Like, I don't, I, you know, just. But you get cagoules where you can keep your little mappy thing in there, and that does up like that. That makes sense because that's that's right. going right. right. I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, sure. Let's do some other shout outs. Uh, Lee Parsons of Barrow House Radio. Uh, good evening, fella. Steve Giles, uh, who else we got? Um, I don't think we're done on that. Uh, hold on, what do we think about beagle collars? Right. You're going to have to enlighten me again. We might do another, we might do a 60s one. A beagle collar is where it goes round like that. You've, I've goes got, where? so it's, is it's it one of the round. Way? Oh, okay. Like the small faces. You see where. a lot of those where they're not that big, though. Correct. They're, they're quite small, aren't they? Yeah, there's pictures of the small faces yeah. wearing them. And also, I just, just Purely out of my interest, what's the deal with some of them when it's got a pin that goes through the... The pin? Yeah. Um, that again, that's a, um, a, a 40s thing, isn't it? It's about keeping the, the tie tidy. So is that before a button-down was very main, was mainstream at all, I then? I think it must, must have been. Must have been just the, the before they somebody thought, you know what, we could just put another oh, couple of buttons on no, there. No, no, no. Because you, all the aggro of sticking a pin yeah, through. Yeah, no, no. Well, you can stick a pin through, but um, I've got uh, ones where it's hard to explain, but it clamps... You put it through and it clamps. Yeah, I was going to say. If I was taking a pin through there, I'd end up piercing my double chin or something. <laughs> well, it's not a real pin. It's only like a little thing. You can buy me next. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If next was open. Or, or, um, yeah. But they, they have that. I know what you mean. Um, they have like a pin through. There's, um, the ones I've got, I think I've got some over there. It's like I say, though, it sort of goes in there, through, and then goes under. Mm -hmm. And the idea is, that it, it, like you're suggesting, it kept the tie tidy. But when you wear that, it, so I'm totally ignorant to all this, you, your shirt that you would wear that with wouldn't have buttons. Correct. Right. Okay. Yeah, and again, and you, this is probably, it's, it's probably more a 40s thing because it was a way of wearing it so it looked tidier. So it's about being neater. Mm -hmm. Remember, for clothes for a lot of people, especially even like the war generation, they probably only had two sets. They were, the clothes they went to work in and clothes and they, they wore at the weekend, out, yeah, weekend, yeah. A weekend. So a lot of that was about station because if you could afford better clothes that meant you have a better job if you had a better job arguably more women would fancy you and it's uh, all that sort and of there it is <laughs> ladies and gentlemen ladies it and always gentlemen. comes back to that one way or another <laughs> it comes back to the SEX <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, yeah, you've rubbed it on enough what are we talking about on Friday oh forgotten what are we doing on Friday I don't know but can you show the barrels on the close up Someone. Oh, so somebody wants to know about these ones. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What do they want to know? Asked. Just wanted to see them. Oh right. They're, yeah. Beryl's beautiful shoe. Lovely and comfortable. They are. They're really nice. Um. Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah. yeah all right. Okay. okay. Well, I'm with that. Thank you everyone for tuning in. So if, to those who found it a bit heavy going, thank you for bearing with us. <laughs> we'll do something a little bit more light-hearted on Friday. Well, let's just end with that. What we're going to try and do on Tuesdays, we're going to do not be too serious. But we're going to do some more sort of fashion uh, orientated things. And Fridays, we're going to do sort of more light hearted things. We have got pet hates coming up in the future. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I've got, I've got some cool Have you bits. got some really good ones? So yeah. The button down one is a real, that's a real, I've forgotten about that. I'm going to have to save some of my pet hates off. So if you've got any pet hates, start writing them in um, because we'll, we'll discuss them, obviously. Yeah. Uh, as obviously, yeah. Well, that'd be more fun to, sit to, to actually rate other people's pet hates. Oh, it? yes, that'd be good fun. How, about, how much they annoy us? It's a bit like, um, oh, I've forgotten what it's called. The programme that Frank Skinny does. Um, room 101? Yeah. Oh, what, where, <laughs> where are we going to put people's pet hates into Room 101? <laughs> yeah. Well, we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah. And kick off with our own and then have some of the, the audiences. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Because I hate everything, so... <laughs> you don't hate I, everything. I love, I love pet hates. Oh, right, I see what you're saying. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I can't think of it. Anyway, we'll have a think about it. it off camera, probably. Yeah, More yes, professional, yeah, yeah. wouldn't it? Yes, we'll see it you on be. Friday. Thank see you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>